food. It is the first topic in sixth class. So we shall learn about these following points in this lesson. Okay, the first point is what is food? Next, why do we need to eat food? Next, types of food we eat. Materials or the ingredients of food. Next, sources of food materials. That is, from where do we get these food materials? It's plant parts and animal products that are edible. Edible means eatable. Next, what do animals eat? We shall know about all these points in detail. One by one. Okay. So, first point is what is food? So, what is food? We all know food is nothing but that which we eat or that all living organisms or living beings eat. Okay. Food is that which we eat, which all living beings eat is called food. So, why do we need to eat food? The second point is why to eat food? Why we need to eat food? So, if we eat food, that gives us energy. Like it gets digested in the stomach and the nutritional values of that food gets absorbed by our body and that gives us energy. That energy makes us to survive. So, survival. For the survival of the living being or the living organism or the human beings, we need to eat food. Survival means to live. Survival means to live. Okay. Next. The next point is types of food. Now we shall see in detail what are all the types of food we eat. Okay. So we know so many types of food in our day to day life. Do we eat the same kind of food daily? No, we cannot eat the same kind of food daily because the same kind of food will not give us the all nutrients which are required by our body. So, we cannot eat the same kind of food. We eat different types of food at different times. In different regions, they eat different types of food. People also eat according to their taste. So, there are so many types of food, so many varieties of food. So, for example, we know so many types of food like fruits, vegetables, processed foods, pulses, milk, meat, eggs. All these are, there are so many types of food we eat in our daily life. Okay, so for example, we eat in the breakfast time, we eat, during breakfast, we eat what? Generally, we eat idli, dosa or puri like that. Okay, during lunch, at the lunch time, we eat rice, with some curry. Okay. So, there are so many types of food. For breakfast, we eat idli, dosa, puri like that. For lunch, we eat rice with some curry. For dinner also, some people eat rice with curry that. Okay. So, we shall see in detail what are the materials or the ingredients required to make this food. Okay. So, materials or the ingredients required to prepare this food. Hi children. Welcome to the second part of the food lesson. In the previous class, we had seen about what is food, why do we need to eat food and different types of food items. In this class, we will see about what are the materials and sources of this food. So, we shall see a list. Food items, materials or ingredients required to prepare this food item and the sources of these materials. So, first if you take chapati, it requires only two ingredients that is wheat flour and water. Wheat flour, wheat, 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 uh, wheat flour is nothing but processed wheat. Wheat we get from plants or crops. Plants, crops are nothing but 
seriously grown plants in a farmland. So, the source of wheat is plants. It's boiled rice. Just it requires two ingredients that is rice and water. So, the source of rice is again plants. Dosa. What are the re ingredients required to prepare dosa? Uradda, rice, water, sar. So, uradda, it's a plant source. Rice, it's a plant source. Chicken biryani. Next item is, food item is chicken biryani. We shall see what are the ingredients required to prepare this chicken biryani. So, rice, chicken, oil or ghee, eggs, water, spices, etc. Okay, so if we see rice, it's again a plant source. Chicken, we get it from, it's a meat, hen meat. So it's an animal product. It's oil, ghee. We can get oil from plants, that is groundnut oil, sunflower oil, like that. So it's a plant source. Ghee, from milk we get, that is animal product, animal source. Next, eggs, we get from hen. So eggs, it's an animal source. Spices, it's again a plant source. We get spices from plants. So we get, next again, sweet. For sweet, we generally require milk, sugar. So milk, it's an animal source. Cows, buffaloes give us milk. Sugar, it's a plant source. So the main, if, we, if you see the list of source, you find only two sources, that is plants and animals. So the main sources of food is plants and animals. Now, next we shall see about the edible parts of plants and products of animals. Lesson is edible plant parts and animal products. We know there are different plant parts that we eat in our day-to-day -day life. For example, if you take the leaf part, we have so many leafy vegetables like spinach, coriander, amaranthus leaves, sorrel leaves, methi leaves. All these are leafy vegetables that we eat. Fruits. We have so many fruits. The fruit part of the plant. Okay, mangoes, grapes, oranges, watermelon. There are so many varieties of fruits. Vegetable part. Brinjal, lady's finger, cucumber, tomato. Like this we have so many vegetables. These are the vegetable part of the plant. Vegetable, vegetables generally we cook them and we eat. Fruits, we eat them directly. Okay, root part of the plants. We know beetroot, carrot, radish. All these are the root part of the plants. Next, stem part. Example of stem part of the plant that we eat is sugar cane. So, we know we get sugar and jaggery from sugar cane. Sugar, sugar cane juice is extracted from the sugar cane stem and that from that juice they prepare this jaggery and sugar. And jaggery is better than sugar. Instead of sugar you use jaggery. Jaggery is good for health instead of sugar. Okay. Next, the next part of the plant that we use, that is edible is seeds. So we know so many seeds that are edible, that are edible, eatable. Chana seeds, Mungal seeds, peas, etc. Chana seeds means they are Bengal gram seeds. Mungal seeds are green gram seeds. So generally the seed part we consume by sprouting them. Seeds sprouted have more protein in them. So sprouted seeds are good for our growth. More protein is good for bodybuilding. So, sprouted seeds are good for our health. So, what is sprouting? Sprouting is nothing but when you soak the seeds in water overnight. Next day, you just drain all the water from the seeds. Then, you just wrap those seeds in a cloth and leave it aside for one more day. The next, uh, the following day, a white layer appears out of the seed. That is called sprouting. A uh, white layer in the sense a small uh, like a root. Okay, white color root. In the fifth class you had already learned about what is how a seed germinates. So that germinated part uh, which is called a plumule or a radical that is called the uh, if, if that plumule appears, then it is then the seeds are said to be sprouted. That sprouted seeds are very good for our health because it contains rich protein. Next, we know that there are so many plants from which we can take two to three parts. We can eat two to three parts of that plant. 
For example, coriander plant, if you take coriander leaves, you can consume. You can also eat the coriander seeds. Methi, methi leaves you can eat. As well as methi seeds you can eat. Similarly, banana, you can take ripe banana as a fruit, raw banana as a vegetable and we cook raw, raw banana into curry and we take. And also banana flour is also cooked into curry and we can take. So these are all the different plant parts that we, that are edible. Next we shall see the animal products which are Next is edible animal products. We had seen edible plant parts. Next is edible animal products. So goat gives us milk and meat. Hand gives us eggs, chicken. Okay, next. Food, uh, seafoods like fish, crabs, prawns, etc. All these are the edible animal products we eat in our day-to-day -day life. The next kind of food is Honey. Okay. Honey. Where do we get honey from? From beehives. Honey beehives. Honey bees, they collect the nectar from the flowers during the flowering season and they store them in the hives, that is homes of the honey bees, for their future consumption. So, when man finds these honey bee hives on the trees, he collects the honey from those honey bee hives. So, honey is a very good health benefiting food. It has good health benefits in them. It is used in the Ayurvedic medicines. It is used in the beauty products. It In our day to day life also we use honey. It is a very good antibiotic food. Uh, it has got some antibiotic properties like turmeric. Okay, so honey is also used as a sweetening agent. Instead of sugar you can use honey. So next content of this lesson is what do animals eat just like what we eat they do eat plants and animal the source of food is plants and animals we know what a dog eats what a cat eats we will daily see around our house cat we sometimes feed cats with milk and we sometimes feed dogs with some food we sometimes throw grains at the birds for them to eat. So, we shall see the list of food items that these animals eat. So, buffaloes and cows, what they eat? Grass, oil cakes, hay, grains, etc. So, what does a cat eat? Milk and other small animals like birds. Rat, it eats grains, a small insects. Lion, tiger, it, they depend only on the flesh of other animals. So, they are flesh eating animals. So spider eats other small insects. Butterflies, they drink the nectar from the flowers. Crow, it eats both plant products and like grains. And also it depends on the flesh of other small animals like rats like that. Okay, so depending upon the foods these animals eat, the animals are differentiated into three types. Those are herbivores animals, carnivores animals. Omnivores animals. So, herbivores animals are the animals which eat only plant and plant products. Example, cow, buffalo, squirrel. Okay, squirrels eat nuts. Cow, buffalo eats grass, grains, hay, oil cake, etc. Carnivores, they eat only the flesh of other animals. That is, they are called the flesh eating animals. Lion, tiger, other examples. There are so many flesh eating animals. Flesh eating animals are called carnivores animals. Next, omnivores. These animals eat both plant, plant products and also eat flesh of other small animals. Example, crow, cat, dog, etc. So, this is about the food lesson.